Here in Falk County, the top commodities are beef, cattle, and soybeans, but for the most part, this is cow country, Angus to be exact. The big story here remains the aftermath of a blizzard which hit western South Dakota hard on October 4th with 70 mile an hour winds and snow drifts up to 10 feet deep. Ranchers at the foot of the Black Hills near Rapid City woke to find many of their cattle dead, some buried under those snow drifts, others drowned in ravines where cattle naturally seek shelter from the elements. South Dakota's state veterinarian estimates the state lost 20,000 head of cattle because of the storm, though U.S. Senator Tim Johnson of South Dakota says he's hearing of losses above 80,000 head. It could be weeks before we learn the exact number of cattle lost. This week in Louisiana, agriculture's Avery Davidson begins our coverage by bringing us the human toll of such a tragedy. We want to warn you that some of the images in this story may be disturbing. Interstate 90 near Wall, South Dakota is lined with death. These cattle could go no further than this barbed wire fence as they tried to escape the unseasonable blizzard which struck the Black Hills on October 3rd. The storm brought 70 mile an hour winds and 24 inches of snow to cattle still grazing in summer pastures. Seventh generation rancher Monty Williams initially thought most of his cattle survived yeah. the blizzard. The first two bunches when I got through them, it was pretty minor. I didn't think it was going to be that bad of a deal until I got up here. When I looked up from where I was standing, uh, at that point I could all of a sudden see about 10 more. And then your heart just sank as you started to turn and look around and you just could see more and more. Just everywhere you looked, you could find more of them. From a hilltop, you can see some of the cattle Williams lost in the storm. In all, Williams says he lost more than 200 head, 180 cows, and more than 30 calves, about a third of his herd. But several of these, you can tell, weren't in that deep of snow. They just lay down and give it up. South Dakota Cattlemen's Association Executive Director Jody Anderson says this was the kind of storm ranchers expect on November 1st, not at a time when cattle have yet to grow their winter coats. Had this storm happened even just a few weeks later, the losses probably wouldn't have been as significant. And certainly a lot of the calves, the spring calves that were getting ready to go to market would have been um, safely out of harm's way. Doesn't it look like a war zone? That was the case for Jimmy and Riley Kammerer. They were only 10 days away from going to the sale barn. We invested everything we had into our cows. Um, they were they were mortgaged and um, they still are mortgaged. <laughs> Kammerer says of their 85 calves, six survived. Okay. And of the 83 mama cows, 13 lived. They're, they're more just cows, um, the cattle that are dead. Um, their hopes and dreams were hard work. It's hard to put into words when you're looking at a young mother and a young husband who's been doing everything he can to provide a living for his family young children in the back room playing, and they don't have enough money in their checkbook to cover groceries because they were ready to sell their calves this next week, and they no longer have those calves to sell. It's not just a loss of income. It's a loss of life that is larger than we can comprehend. For some here in South Dakota, after losing so much, so many head of cattle, it could be easy for them to just want to give up. However, for Jimmy and Riley Kammerer, they found hope, literally. About four years ago, we had this cow just get deathly sick. And um, she was so sick, my husband doctored her and he did everything he could for her. But he said to me, you know, Jimmy, I just don't know if there's a lot of hope. Well, she lived and we called her hope. You know, after this whole storm, um, I said, God, it would just be a miracle if hope lived. Well, hope lived. And hope came marching up out of the breaks. And hope is alive. And for me, I know that just comes from God. Because out of, you know, 83 cows and 13 lived, and one of them was hope, that didn't just happen. And I just, I stand on that, and hope is alive for me. Um, yeah, I, I just, I know, I know that, so. There's the one survivor. Williams also found a calf alive in the snow one week after the storm. At this point, you just didn't expect to see him at all. Uh, you just can't hardly believe it, but you're, you're just awfully thankful that somehow he pulled through. Gives you hope to keep looking. 
to, to not quit yet. It's a resilience Louisiana farmers and ranchers know firsthand because they too survived the storm. In Meade County, South Dakota, I'm Avery Davidson for this week in Louisiana agriculture. As Avery mentioned, ranchers like Monty Williams and Jimmy and Riley Kammerer were just days away from selling their herds. The money generated from those cattle sales would have helped them get through the often brutal winter months here. The South Dakota Cattlemen's Association, the Stock Growers Association, and the Black Hills Area Community Foundation have established the Rancher Relief Fund to help producers impacted by the snowstorm. Now, these producers really need your help. To find out how you can make a donation to the Rancher Relief Fund, you can visit our website at twilatv.org.